if you're brand new to skincare or you just want to introduce a vitamin C serum into your skincare routine and you're wondering how do I use a vitamin C serum, today's video is for you. Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Janet. I'm a medical doctor and I blog on skincare and hair care. Now, if this is your jam, please consider sticking around by clicking on the subscribe button below and there's a link in the description bar to take you to my blog. So today's video is the third video in a series of vitamin C videos I've been posting. The first one was on the awesome benefits of using a vitamin C. The second one was on how to pick the best vitamin C for you. And then this is going to be on how to use vitamin C. I'll be linking those videos in the description bar. So do well to see them because at the end of this series, you'd have a complete guide to vitamin C in skincare. Now everyone needs an antioxidant serum in their skincare routine, irrespective of their skin concerns. In skincare, antioxidants counteract free radical damage that are responsible for premature signs of aging, dullness in our skin, you know, all the things we don't want on the skin. So this is where vitamin C comes in. This is like the most potent antioxidant we can use on our skin and it has a lot of awesome benefits. It induces collagen, it brightens the skin, it fades dark spots, it calms inflammation and boosts wound healing. Vitamin C is awesome. Now what can get confusing is how do you use this vitamin C? How do you incorporate it into your skincare routine? Now that's what I'll be sharing with you guys in today's video. I'll be discussing how to use a vitamin C serum, when you should use it, how to apply it, ingredients that work well with vitamin C, and those you shouldn't use with vitamin C. Now the very first thing to do of course is to get the right vitamin C and that's what I shared with you guys in my previous video where I shared on how to choose the right vitamin C serum for you. I'll link it up here and in the description bar below. Now when you've gotten the right vitamin C for you, the next thing to do is to patch test that vitamin C. This is very important, especially if you're starting out with l acid. This can be downright irritating for a lot of people. So you don't want to get the whole irritation over your face. You need to patch test first. Now, how do you do this? You take a little area of your skin, you cleanse this area, you dry it and you apply the vitamin C and then you assess your skin after 24 hours. If your skin handles it, then you proceed to apply this all over your skin. Now, when do you use a vitamin C serum in your skincare routine? The simple answer is you could use it either in the mornings or in the evenings. But vitamin C being an antioxidant shines through when you use it in the mornings, when your skin is exposed to free radical damage from the sun rays and from environmental pollutants. Another reason to use it in the mornings is because when vitamin C is combined with your SPF, it gives your skin optimal protection against the premature aging of the sun rays. Now, in addition to this, you want to use your vitamin C serum every single day. But when you're brand new to vitamin C, you want to start slow, use a few days in the week, and then work your way up to daily usage. But when you get there, it should be part of your morning skincare routine. Now, how do you apply your vitamin C serum? Now your vitamin C serum should be applied after you've cleansed your skin and before your moisturizer. Remember your morning skincare routine should incorporate four steps, your cleanser, your treatment, your moisturizer and your sunscreen. Now the treatment step is where your vitamin C comes in. Now after you've cleansed with a low pH cleanser, you move on to using a few drops of your vitamin C serum. You moisturize your skin and you layer it with your SPF. This is very important and ensure your SPF is a minimum of at least 30. Now ensure that when you apply your vitamin C serums, you come down your neck to your decolletage and the back of your hands. These are the areas that show premature signs of aging the quickest. We don't want our face to be looking all supple and the rest of our body looking all wrinkled up. Mm -mm. Remember, the integrity of your skin barrier is everything. You don't want to compromise your skin health at the expense of a skin concern. So you have to be very careful with what you mix and match with your vitamin C. Now there are certain ingredients you don't want to be using alongside with your vitamin C. You can use them in your skincare regimen, but not at the same time. Now examples of these ingredients are alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids, and retinoids. These ingredients are very irritating, they are very sensitizing in their own right. So you don't want to compound issues with combining them with a vitamin C serum. Leave them for your evening skincare routine when you're using your vitamin C in the mornings. Now another ingredient you shouldn't mix with your vitamin C is benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide is a non-oxidizer so it will inactivate your vitamin C. You don't want that. 
you may not be left with a lot of irritation but you'll be using an ingredient that is doing nada for your skin so move your benzoyl peroxide to the evenings when you're using your vitamin c serums in the morning now what ingredients can you mix with vitamin c there are a couple of them now vitamin c has been shown to work well with other antioxidants for example vitamin e and ferulic acid now when you combine these antioxidants to your vitamin c it stabilizes the vitamin c and increases its efficacy and that's what we want in our vitamin c serums other sets of ingredients that do well with vitamin c are humectants so you could use a vitamin c with glycerin with pantenol with hyaluronic acid now other sets of ingredients that work well with vitamin c are calming ingredients vitamin c has been shown to work very well with aloe vera and you know aloe vera in skincare calms the skin moisturizes the skin just generally improves wound healing on our skin so I hope this video has helped you on how to use your vitamin C serum in your skincare routine. If you liked the video, I'll be linking other helpful vitamin C videos on the next screen. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Ciao!